The reworked Electoral Act Amendment Bill 2022 is yet to be signed. 23 days after the National Assembly transmitted the authenticated copies of, to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, on the 31st of January 2022, leading civil society organizations to declare a day of protest calling on the President to assent to the bill. Uh, President Buhari had on December 21, 2021, via letter read during the plenary sessions at the Senate and the House of Representatives, declined his assent to the Electoral Amendment Bill, or the Electoral Act Amendment Bill 2021. Uh, the President noted that the mandatory use of direct primaries for all political parties in the country would be too expensive to execute, or adding that it would put a financial burden on Nigeria's slim resources. Now, that was the fifth time the president declined to assent to the amendments to the Electoral Act in the last five years. Now, the clause on direct primaries was edited by both houses of the National Assembly to include direct primaries, indirect primaries, and consensus candidature for the political parties. Now, following the president's delay in signing the bill, they, there were strong indications uh, that Unless the Independent National Electoral Commission amends its regulations and guidelines for the conduct of the elections in um, that, that is the election guidelines from 2019, uh, it might use the Electoral Act of 2010 for the conduct of the 2023 general elections, a situation uh, many people in the civil space will not want to see. However, the president yesterday returned to Nigeria, having been away for some time in Brussels, Belgium, where he attended the sixth EU-AU summit. And according to the extant INEX regulations and guidelines for the conduct of elections, um, election to the office of the president and the vice president, as well as the National Assembly, shall hold on the third Saturday in February of any general election year. Um, should I next stick to that rule, the next presidential and national assembly elections will hold on Saturday, February 18, 2023. Meanwhile, Section 28, Sub 1 and Sub 4 of the bill, waiting for the president's assent, provides, quote, the commission shall not later than 360 days before the conduct of an election publish a notice in each state of the federation and the federal capital territory stating the date of election end of quote now by this provision the threshold the commission requires to be able to use the amended electoral act in the 2023 election would have elapsed yesterday tuesday february 22 2022 now the question remains will mr president sign the bill and when well, joining us to discuss this and probably help us answer this question is um, Mr. Dotun Hassan, Ari Ola Dotun Hassan Hesqua. He's a chairman at Tiosa Bar Forum and president Yoruba Council Worldwide. Nice to have you, uh, Ari. Um, what, what do you think about this? Will the president sign the bill? And if so, when? Let's start from there. Well, uh, it's quite unfortunate that uh, we are discussing the issue of electoral bill and electoral act at uh, this uh, time of our national lives, uh, this issue and the it's it, it's all about the um, the ineffective democratic uh, and um, I'll call it um, uh, democratic uh, indiscipline, uh, whereby we are just professing to be giant of Africa without having the manifestation of what democracy is all about. Democracy is all about the government of the people, for the people and by the people. And it has its ethos. It's all centralized. The people's confess. The people are the center of democracy, not an oligarchy system, not some set of cabal, not some set of uh, um, uh, personality and institution who believes that they have to hold us to Gugula uh, in progressing in our democratic life. This is a country uh, that has been existing that's almost 60 decades now, and we cannot just get the primary center of our democracy, which is electionary. From the 60s to the 70s to 80s, even till now, our election have always been manifested and professed with irregularities. And for us to correct that, the essence of the Electoral Act uh, 2022 is to bring about a new leave, a new solution, and ensuring that the people and the management of election 
is properly managed from political party to election um, date to, to 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 primaries to how the conduct of an election ought to be uh, ought to have been a, uh, a forgotten issue by now. But, but all I can see uh, is all about daily dialing. It's all about us trading. There is no sincerity, even from the presidency to the national assembly. There seems to be a conspiracy uh, to hold us to this point in time. Now, as of today, uh, the, 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 the last of period for the, um, uh, uh, for the process of an election for 2023 ought to have been uh, batted by now. But this delay is to further shift a presidential election from the presumed date. And don't be surprised if we have to shift election in 2023 by six months. Or, or do or conduct the election by 2024. Anything can happen. As far as we are concerned, there is no um, sincerity for the fact that the ruling APC, uh, as a day, uh, have conducted some primaries in some states, even as a that of the Osho state, uh, was direct uh, primaries. The issue of either indirect or direct primaries have been sorted by the National Assembly. That should be the discretion of the party. But the, 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 the way the presidency took it up, which ought to be the only correcting um, um, section of that amendment, uh, they, they further now introduced some uh, 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 unnecessary um, sections that will further impede and um, uh, create a lot of lacunas in our democratic life. And this will now further uh, impose us into some judicial rascality, whereby elections will be obtained as a 2023 elections. Now, when it gets to the, 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 the post-election um, litigations, mm. this whole element of delays and laxity will be proved that in, in our law court. And I, I, if, 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 if care is not taken, uh, almost all, all the elections that will be conducted in 2020 will be annulled because, as a date, the required process is not met. A lot of the elections that are being conducted now, INEC is only using its discretion to conduct those elections. They have been back and forth. INEC said it has capacity to equally conduct an, an e voting, yet, the National Assembly is agitated. We don't know who our enemies are, and that's where the confusion comes in. Okay, all right, all right, peace. So, 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 sorry about the interruption, but let, let, let's, uh, we have a protest, a video of the protest by uh, civil society at the uh, uh, yes. Unity Fountain in Abuja. We'll just roll the clip, and then we'll come back to you. Do what are we asking? What are we asking? Thank you. I want to, to appreciate persons with disability. All of you who managed to come in here this morning and all civil society organizations for coming here, I want to especially say a big thank you to the security. We applied to the security. We went to the police yesterday. They honored us. You can see they are maintaining law and order in this environment. We are patriotic Nigerians. We are told today you cannot match because of one, one B, B and C. Today we are not matching. We have made our views known. Another day, we will also apply to you. When we are marching, we will march with you side by side because we are law-abiding Nigerians. We do not want distortion. We are not disobedient Nigerians. You said the labels of our heroes' past should not be in vain. We are here to ensure that the labels of our heroes' past will not be in vain. So, Mr. President, sign the bill. All right, those are images from Abuja there with uh, some civil society organizations asking Mr. President to hashtag sign the bill. It's quite interesting. Um, uh, Ms. Ms. Olado Tun Hassan, um, it, it seems from, from reports and indications um, that the president may have an issue with the provision that says if you are an occupant of uh, a political uh, position or an appointed position, you are an uh, appointee, um, you must resign your position before um, you you contest for an election or you start campaigning if you have an interest in, in contesting for, for office. What's your take on that? If, the, if it's true, the president has an issue with that. Well, 
critical office, you are supposed to not to be under paid employment or under any, you ought to have been, you ought to resign your position. I think that's the principle. So that should not be an issue. But, you know, the kind of democracy we run in this country is a system whereby a permanent secretary can run, a sitting general can run for an election. Anybody who presumes power, um, it's up to him by a la carte because in this country, this is the only country power is served a la carte. Without you stressing, just be in the, in the carcass of those that are in, in, in the system or ruling the system and um, be sure of winning. Even if you do not go through primaries, your name can be on the ballot and you win election. This is the only country whereby um, system of our, our democratic system is so short that sometimes you just look at it like a like magic, as if somebody somewhere is proving um, some Alakabra, uh, and that has really affected us. So the, the whole delay of Mr. President, even the protest that I just watched now, we are not so sure which bill that we're asking Mr. President to sign. Is it the, the one that has been amended by the National Assembly and it brought before it, or is it the inclusion that Mr. President is wanting to include? So we need, where our protest needs to go now, is the National Assembly, because the National Assembly has an overriding power to override the assent of Mr. President. The sincerity of our National Assembly is brought to question in here. It is not about Mr. President now, it's about what system are we operating upon? What is all kind of uh, 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 um, um, system is our democracy uh, relying on? We don't even have a system of government, either we are running a federalist country, we don't have a true fiscal federalism in this country. It's all about oligarchy, power, corrupt, and absolutism, power, corrupt, absolutely system. Everything is about totalitarian conduct. The, Mr. President wants to have his way full pledge. Uh, the National Assembly are just uh, um, laying dead before Mr. President without making frantic position known to Mr. President. All right, yes, then. kudos to the the Eighth National Assembly, we know a lot of things would have been done by now. But where it seems to be like we that are the citizens are the one agitating for what ought to be the duty of the government. All right, Allah Dutton Hassan, uh, you know, the Eighth Assembly wasn't really even being seen as performing optimally until the Ninth Assembly showed up. However, that's, you know, not the crux of my conversation. Now, um, in 2019, Buhari's excuse as the president for not signing the electoral bill for 2019 was that there was no time. Now we have, I mean, three years up until today, um, we haven't been able. His administration, the APC, of course, uh, where he is, you know, the president, the ruling party, had promised electoral reforms. Three years now and counting, um, we don't have, you know, the bill and people, civil society organization, Nigerians have to take to protest. Uh, what could be the issue? We have just seven days to go. What, what could be the issue this time? Some people are saying that maybe this might just be some negotiation surrounding the bill as regards the interest. Because at the end of the day, it's politics that we're talking about. Whose interest uh, could be ne being negotiated at this point in time? But we'd like to share your thoughts on that. Yeah, yeah it, it's all about politicking that we are seeing now. It's not even politics that they are playing. Yeah. Uh, the issue at hand, I've said it earlier, uh, this is the only party that brought the Electoral Act reform as part of its uh, manifesto and promises. They raise our host eye without us asking. And uh, dashing it to our face and still blaming us that we are not, we are, we are too docile to even act. Uh, it shows um, the, the, the lack of um, love for a nation. It, it shows the laxity of our political gladiators, the sincerity of our system. So for me, I would still want to call on President Muhammad Bukhari to act in the interest of the nation, in the interest of our democracy, because there is no amount of lamentations or agitations without a submissive and decisive action from both arms of the National Assembly to correct this um, imbroglio and how to really get it right is all of us coming together to sit on the same page and get it right. So Mr. President only had to give us um, 
a good omen that will be profitably imitable for this generation and the years of war. So, but what do you think the could be the problem now? You know, the, the other time, the president had made an excuse of the time. So, so what is the yes. challenge now? Mr. President is too lazy. I'll call him too lazy to be asking. We, we know how our, 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 our president of nations react to issues. It's your duty, for God's sake. We elected you to serve. You are not to give us excuse for your non-service. If, if it is in a private company, you ought to be given query or sack better by now. But because this is a democracy, whatever the National Assembly that ought to be the, 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 the checkmating institution is more or less um, um, a rubber stamp. So what we are demanding as a nation is that sign the electoral act that the way it's been passed by the National Assembly, leave the rest to the 10th Assembly to come and correct or the next resident of the nation if there is still amendment. We are citizens who still bring forward to how we need to develop. Every democracy is not static. That is always subject to change. Everything that is no constant democracy in the world. There is always a room for amendment. So we can't get it right, even with this electoral act. It won't give us the the the, the one size fits all. But for us to move from one docile uh, um, state to an active stage of our democratic life. That is the essence of this amendment. Uh, this uh, amendment Olado to Hassan, uh, you, yes, you've used, Olado to Hassan, you've used words like uh, lazy, uh, you've used words like um, uh, query and sack, you know, uh, in, in reaction to the president's um, delay. Yes. Um, yesterday, yesterday um, uh, Femi Adesino, uh, the uh, media aide to the president, was quoted as saying that um, uh, people like you, you know, and, and maybe the civil society organizations that went to that protest are attempting to stampede the president into signing this bill. That he need not be stampeded into signing this bill. It's, it's something that uh, he has 30 days to consider and that the president is taking the time to look at every aspect of this, to look at everything around this, to get the best legal opinion because elections are very important in the life of the country. And if he signs it, he signs it. Whether it takes 30 days or not, he signs it. So far, it's about 23 days, seven more days to go. He will sign it. So what is it about seven days that cannot wait? You know, and I mean, are we not overblowing this issue? Or blowing it out of proportion? You know, um one of the worst um, enemy of this country are the kind of spokesman our presidencies have been have been getting or employing uh, from from I think from the inception of our democracy till the date. Uh, it's just rare few number of our spokesmen that that think with reasoning, reality. We are not stampeding, Mr. President, for God's sake. It's about the duty. Mr. Femi Additional should wake up that. Uh, we are not just going to be to, um, to expecting the bypass soon or wanting to protect your job. Your job is will only last by 2020, by the end of 2023. So there is a room for us as 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 a civil society to call for a system that protects the nation. We only want the nation to be protected, not anything less. So if we are demanding for a, a review and accent on Mr. President. It's not that it's not their protest. This government protested against the, the, the former administration of President Kuloke Billy Jonathan when it comes to 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 first subsidy. Nobody stamped them and asked them that what you did there was stamping. It's democracy. In democracy, protest demands are part of the correctional values that the people hold as trust. This is one of the significant that they give people the, the opium of respect that they own the government. They employ the government. They give the government the legitimacy. This is what sovereignty re really represents. So it's not about the law. It's not about sentiment. Let Mr. President come out of his um, sleeping um, um, uh, mode and get us a democracy that is functional by signing the Amendment Act with immediate effect. He should even prove himself as a man of integrity, man of his word, yes, he gave us the not too young to run. He gave us every other act. Though not all his actions are tell, uh, are geared towards um, uh, progress, but where there is a need for him to respect that there is a national assembly, he needs to give that honor of democratic reciprocity by 
assenting to what has been passed to him by the National Assembly. Sometimes he has no right to override the National Assembly because these are people that represent the people from various constituents. So what their opinion is, is being presented is the amalgam of over 200 million Nigerians. So he is not only refusing his personal interest here. He should think about them and think about the people. So for Mr. Femi Additional, we have no, this is not a time to, to banter wars with Mr. Femi Additional. He's doing his job, but he's doing it uh, uh, in most irresponsible manner. Because calling that we are, we are, we are stamping uh, PD, Mr. President, is more an act of um, uh, 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 that, that if it is in a climb that democracy rightly functions, you ought to be summoned by the National Assembly to explain. Okay, but, but, but let's, also, let's also look at, you know, INEC now. Uh, prior to this time, uh, that's in January, INEC has raised a consent saying that if the electoral, I mean, if you have the electoral um, act not being signed into law, that there's no possibility of having a timetable. Mm -hmm. And we understand that, you know, after the election that happened, uh, the 18th of February 20, 2023 should be another date mm -hmm. for elections. But they're saying that there will be no timetable. Where does this leave INEC with the fact that uh, if the president, we know that, you know, we still have seven days to go, but what if the president doesn't sign the bill? Where does this leave INEC? Yes, I, I already gave you all the, the let nothing surprise us when it comes to 2023 election. Election might not hold as we plan, as we projected. There are a lot of um, anomalies that will still creep in and will still result to more excuses. And necessity. Uh, we are only afraid that um, if this government will not be extending its day uh, with one year or two years, because it's possible for us not to have an electoral law, what laws are we going to be using to conduct? When INEC is not having its timetable and nobody is trying to show us that this is the route to go, these are symptoms of war. These are symptoms. Okay, um, we, we seem to have uh, uh, be having some technical glitches with the network of uh, Ari Oladotun Hassan Esquire. Thank you very much for, for oh, that. Are you there? Hatred. These are symptoms that bring some nation down. To okay, uh, Ari, we would like to thank you very much for your time uh, and for your expert analysis on this subject. I uh, would have loved to ask you some more, but time is not on our side. We must not forget the Justice Mohammed Uwais uh, pa panel report. Uh, they were commissioned or set up by, instituted by President Yardwa in 2007. I'm sure you have some thoughts at, at, on that as well. Um, only God knows what is happening to that very far-reaching uh, report by the West panel or committee. But thank you very much for your time, sir. Uh, Ari Olado to Hassan Esquire is a chairman at Tiosa Bar Forum uh, and President Yoruba Council worldwide. Thank you, sir. Well, <laughs> interesting. Merci. It's 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 um it's a very um tense time, and we will be watching. We're counting down seven days to go, yeah, to the thirtieth of March. You see, the president will but, sign. But do you, but do you, sign do you see thing. the president signing this? Um, I, I think I think he because like you like, think I, he might. Sign. I think I think he he, he will might. sign. He will? I think he will sign. I will hold you to that. Um, um, yeah. I'll be surprised if he doesn't sign because he sent it back to the National Assembly five times. No, he's refused to sign five times. Mm. And like uh, Ari said, this is um, something that this administration or this uh, government brought up. Um, and, you know, Nigerians are so happy about it. No, like you always say, time is of the essence. I mean, because uh, the timing is very important. Yeah. Whether or not at the time the president would sign the bill, what time does it allow INEC, you know, to get to work and, you know, get up all of the strategy and the logistics? Let's not forget that, you know, excuses would come that mm -hmm. all of the failures that we probably might have in 2023 elections would be because we didn't have the bill on time. And so it didn't give INEC enough time to actually plan with all of the, you know, inclusions that we would definitely have. But fingers across, we're counting yes, down. Indeed. And let's see how all of this pans out. We we'll step on the brakes quickly, and when we return, second conversation right here. We we'll look at the third force. Will there be a third force in 2023? Uh, let's uh, find out how that pans out for us. We'll be right back. <laughs>